Hello everybody, welcome back. This is now part three. Picking up right where we left off. Um, this is actually immediately after part two for me. Figure, um, just keep going throughout the level while we're here. Um, we're gonna quickly just rest at the bonfire, just, uh, there's actually no real reason to do that, but, you know, may as well. So, when you're walking out, these guys get angry, and you do have to take them out, otherwise they're gonna chase you. Um, same thing with that guy down there. And we want him to come to us, because if we go down there to kill him, we're just going to make more people angry, which, um, you know, you can do that if you want, and fight some other guys, but we try to be efficient. So, um, we're all done with this part of the level, in this direction. We saw the merchant down there. Now we're going to press onwards this way, and, uh, see what we find. So, if we head into this room here, we got these two guys. And their buddy, who's a little late opening the door. Real easy, no problem. Uh, if we continue onwards inside of here, there's another fellow there, and another guy right here. And down here again, we get a little sneak peek of a, uh, a possible future shortcut, which um, I'll show you right now, because you're going to see a lot of these throughout the game, these uh, doors which do not open from this side, right? Um, can't do much about that, but like I said, we'll get to that once we're on the other side. In the meantime, uh, let's uh, press onwards. So these guys I like to just rush. Don't give them a chance to poke at you from far away. Break this guy's back. And let's slam him down. Okay, so these guys are going to throw fireballs at us. Let's, uh, not give them the chance. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice cinematic shot there. And then these two guys from earlier. Oh, ow. Oh, <laughs> hit the wood. Oh, there we go, we got a firebomb. And another soul. Ooh, and there's more for us. Oh wow, we're getting a lot of armor. Um, their set isn't anything too special. It's, um, I think it's actually got decent stats because it gives you a little bit of poise, but um, I prefer to look kind of cool. I like the hard leather armor that we start with here. Now make sure you come up here because this guy's going to shoot crossbow bolts at you. Like you'd be working your way down the stairs, distracted by those guys, and then boom, arrow in the back. Not a good time. So these guys, they're going to rush, we're just going to do a little jumping attack, do a little bit of high ground action, and this guy we can use our handy dandy kick move, and I finish him off, no problem. Okay, so, um, up ahead we got a little mini boss. Um, this guy, if you can't tell, his energy is a little, a little fiercer, um, he's quite a bit taller. And uh, his weaponry looks pretty good. Oh god, okay, okay. Um, let's <laughs> run away. So now we got him. It, it's a little narrow here, so I'd like to draw him out and fight him in the open over here. So we do have a heavy weapon, but our weapon is a lot slower, so let's see how that fares. Yeah, that did a decent amount of damage, actually. But the strategy I like to use with these guys... Oh, okay, not that. Um, if you got a heal, just don't panic. Just try to get them to start an attack. And then get some distance, and okay, yeah. These guys are aggressive, and it's going to be challenging for sure. Uh. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the nice thing is we do stagger him with a heavy attack, so that will give us an opening. There we go. Okay, this is actually going to work out. Okay, one more should do it. Ah, he got me. Oh, oh man, that was close. <laughs> but hey, alright, we got a Black Knight Sword and a Titanite Chunk. So, their weapon is really good. This is actually the weapon that I used in my first playthrough. Um, not right away. But um, about a third through the game, I had the stats for it, and I just used it for the rest of the game. This thing is a beast. 
Um, there's a handful of Black Knight weapons. This is the simple sword. So um, even though it's the simple sword, it's actually a great sword. Um, we're using an ultra great sword here, but yeah, as you can tell, they're pretty bigger than us. So um, once everything adjusts, yeah. So that's the gold pine resin. Um, that's going to give us a temporary weapon buff, buff which uh, I'll demonstrate in a bit here. But for now, uh, that will give us some lightning effect. Let's head on down here. So what was he defending? Um, this is actually a pretty interesting item. It's not like too great, but this is the blue tier stone ring. Uh, what it will do is when our health is running low, it's going to give us some more uh, defense. Um, now the thing is, by the time it kicks in, you're almost dead anyway. So <laughs> it's not that great, but you know we don't really have any other rings to wear, so may as well throw it on. So now that we got that, Let's uh, proceed upwards. Oh, try to. Oh, okay. You can roll through that if your timing's good, but mine wasn't, so. Yeah. Alright. Heal up. Now, if you have the master key, you'll want to investigate what's down there. Um, just like before, we're going to have to wait until we go the long way around. Um. But, yeah, I highly recommend checking it out. Just uh, be prepared for a battle, that's all I'll say. So, here's the boss battle. Um, before we do that, there is one last little secret. And if we slam this down here, see this thing. Um, that's a crystal lizard. And if you kill him, you get upgrade material. So we got lucky, we got some twinkling titanite and large titanite shard. Um, it'll be random every time, but uh, you can find these guys hidden throughout various points in the level. In, in the game, so I believe this is the first one you can find if you go about the normal route. Uh, so yeah, definitely make sure to fight him. So I think we're all set. Let's go and get ready to fight the boss. Now, um, bosses don't always start right away. As you can see, um, we're just, um, you know, things are very calm. So, you know, that noise gives you a hint of what we want to handle first. First, let's uh, go up here because if we just charge forward, then um, you know these guys are gonna be shooting arrows in our back. So not a good time. Um, that is unless you're looking for a challenge, in which case that'll uh, definitely make the battle a bit more difficult. So yeah, hold B. You can slide down ladders. Very helpful tip. And uh, let's also equip that gold pine resin that we found earlier. So now, once we go up to right about here, there's that bull demon <laughs> the guy told us about. So we're gonna run back this way. Climb up the ladder, get ready to use our gold pine resin. Now, you don't want to dilly daddle up here too much, because he will jump up and just smack you something fierce. But with our buff and a plunging attack, we're gonna do half of its health. So now if we just... Uh, Okay, he's backing up this time. Oops. Careful. I'm just gonna do a one and a two. Stagger. And finish him off. Real easy, guys. No problem at all. So, thank you for the fight. And ooh, did we get lucky with a drop? So, okay, you'll always get the humanity and the homeward bone. Oh, uh, we did. We got the demon's great axe. So, that's a nice drop, because you won't get that every time. Um, so this thing has, you need a lot of strength for it, uh, we're not going to have the strength to use it in the end, but it's still cool that we got it. And, you know, I've never actually used that myself, so I can't speak for it, but it's, um, you know, if you go for a strength build, that's, uh, that'll do the job for you. Okay, so our effect wore off, like I said, it's temporary, but it does help a lot when you, when you use it. Okay, another soul item. And we're going to proceed this way. Okay, so at this point, if you notice to the left here, um, there's some charred bodies. We definitely don't want to just run. What we want to do is just sort of poke out here and run back. And you'll see, there's our friend. And if had we been running... Oh, okay, we're still a little close. <laughs> but that would have hurt a lot more if we were down the road. So... He's uh, just going to menacingly stare at us for a bit. Uh, 
In the meantime, though, we have another friend. And a very iconic friend at that. Let's see what he has to say. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Alright, so he's a jolly little fellow. He's on his own quest. Let's see what else he has to say. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Alright, let's hear him out. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Sure thing. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. And here we have the white sign soapstone. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Alrighty, so what does this thing do for us? It um, Basically, it's going to let us do multiplayer. Um, if we go ahead and use it, I'll just demonstrate it real quick. Uh, so if I hit X, uh, okay, I actually can't, I think probably because I'm offline. But if you use it in an area that you're allowed to, um, it'll put down this sort of like white message looking thing. And then in other players' worlds, if they decide to summon you, then you'll be in their world and you can fight the boss together and do things. Um, I'll showcase that at some point. Um, I'm probably not going to do that right away though, but there's an area up ahead where there's a lot of fun co-op. So anyway, um, we do have to actually get to the middle point here, so I don't think he's going to shoot fire unless we really get close to him. Um, let's see if I'm correct here. So if I just sort of run along, okay, and we're good. We want to go down these stairs. And then if we go over here. We can kick down the ladder, and if you can recognize where we are, we're back to where we were. Now, the difference is, now that we have this ladder, we don't have to go through the whole level. And like I said, you know, Dark Souls and its level design is top notch. And uh, a lot of times, instead of adding another bonfire, it'll just open a shortcut back to an existing one. So uh, let's go ahead and level up a bit here. Um, so we have the stats we need to use the weapon we want to use. Um, actually, now I could use that Black Knight Sword. Bet it is. Which I'm kind of tempted to do, actually. Um, let me just verify that that's correct. Um, so this thing requires 20 strength and 18 dexterity. So yeah, the, uh, the strength trick that I was talking about with two-handing, that's only for strength. You do need the correct amount of dexterity. So you know what? Let's uh, let's go for it. Cause like I said, that's a pretty nice cup that we got there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna rock this for a while. It's a little shorter, but it is a little faster. And it's got this really heavy attack there, uh, which is interesting. Uh, let me just check as well. Does it? Let's see the exact damage. So this is 220 plus 67. Yeah, so we're doing almost double damage with this thing. <laughs> like I said, it's uh, pretty good. Oh, and actually we do have some left over to still level up. Yeah, so let's get a little bit of vitality. And vitality being the stat that will give us more health. And uh, that, you definitely want to get a decent amount of vitality in the early game, otherwise you're going to be really squishy. Um, you can get away with it in the early game, having low vitality, but eventually that's going to gonna hurt. So, um, 
Actually, there is one more trick coming up that I want to try. And for that, we're going to need this Vihander. And that gold pine resin which we're before. Um, and I will explain exactly what we're trying to do here. I'm probably going to mess this up. Uh, so make sure when you come up the stairs, immediately run to this little alcohol, alcohol, and you'll be safe from the fire. Everyone else will die. And what you want to do is you just stand right here. Right here. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, got a little burn there. Let's see, ooh, tiny shard. Very good. Um, so yeah, I think that's because of this. Okay, here he comes. So we're going to go this way. We're going to run along. Right here, and we're going to use our gold pine resin. And, oh, okay, he's actually going to shoot fire in there. So <laughs> be careful. But hopefully, he will soon fly away. So now if we're good at timing, smack him there. Oh, okay, he jumped back down. Let's see if he does this again. No. Oh no! I fucked it up. Yeah. Well, if I had smacked the tail again, we could have uh, we could have gotten a pretty cool item there. Um, well, it's actually not that great of an item, but it uh, it's really good in the early game. It's a special fire sword. So we're going to light that bonfire, and actually while he's gone, let's go and grab these items. So we'll have a Nameless Soldier, and a Claymore. Okay, so the Claymore is actually the weapon I was going to plan to use um, next, but we have the Black Knight Sword, so might just use that for a while. Um, it's the, the Black Knight Sword and the Claymore are actually pretty similar. They're about the same size, right? And we actually do have the stats to one-handed, so if we wanted to use this with the shield, we could. And for that reason, we might actually end up doing that. But for now, let's keep using our Black Knight Sword. And that does give us access to this bonfire here. Which, um, before I do that, I'm going to open this gate. Let's see, and we are approaching the end of the episode here. So I think I am going to call it a wrap at that. Um, I will see if I can get the black get the uh, get his tail using that trick that I showed you before so I'm actually gonna give that another go here um, I will edit that in though I stand right here come on don't do that don't do that any moment now okay so I think the trick is you need to do running attack first. Oh, we got it! Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so that's the Drake Sword. Okay, okay, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Run away! Okay, very nice. Oh man, I'm so glad we got that. <laughs> Dual joy. <laughs> I got your tail. Okay, um, so let's uh, take a look at this thing. So yeah, it's, uh, it does fire damage, um, or maybe it doesn't, but anyway, it's a, it's a pretty good sword. Um, it, def it does like the damage of this Vihander, but it's like the speed of the longsword. So this is really good um, early game, but eventually, so if you notice too, um, so let's look at those Vihander, right? See so how the Pram bonus? those like blue letters in the bottom left, C and D, that means that as our strength and dexterity go up, this will start to do more damage. But this has no scaling at all, which means that um, it's going to do this amount of damage throughout the entire game. Which means it's, uh, it's a very nice like one-time boost, but as we proceed, it's uh, not going to be that good. So maybe I'll use it a little bit in the next part, but um, yeah, for now we're just going to Stick with our Black Knight Sword. Alrighty, uh, for now, that has been part three. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next part. Take care.